Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're actually going to do a glowy skin makeup tutorial. Well, not really a tutorial, just showing you my routine. So I always start out with some SPF moisturizer and that's the Cetaphil one with SPF 35 and the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. This oil, y'all, is a game changer. When I tell you this oil mixed in with my moisturizer is literally what gives me the glowy base that I need. It doesn't matter what I put on top of it, somehow, some way, that rosehip seed oil literally just peeks through and makes every single look of mine super dewy, super glowy, just not and, and not like super glazed donut, but just enough to where you can see a nice glow from your skin. Not overly done at all. So I'm just rubbing it in, of course, making sure I hit my neck as well. Gotta be super thorough with that. And then I do make sure I cover up my ears as well because the sun hits all those places when you're outside. So there's the base right there. And we're gonna get started with the makeup. Oh, also make sure you, any excess you have, put that on your hands. Gotta protect the hands too. So we're gonna start with a Morphe Micro Brow Pencil and I'm actually using the color in Chocolate Mousse. Normally I would do my eyeliner first. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So I'm actually showing you right now all of the places all over my face that I've got hyperpigmentation. Now, here's the thing. I didn't start breaking out until like my late 30s, which is crazy because I'm like, what? Let me know if that happened to you, if you've gone through it or not, but I'm working on clearing it up. It's a slow process, but consistency is key. So I'm starting here and just kind of doing like a basic outline of my brow I did take off too much. Um, I feel like I do that every single time. I call myself trimming my eyebrows and I just I just do the most. So yeah, so I'm just kind of outlining it here and making sure I don't go too far in to where it starts to look like I have a unibrow, but also just wanna make sure I'm framing my face um, specific to like, you know, the distance between my eyebrows. So then I switch it, take the spoolie, and kind of bring that line that I drew up to kind of imitate the image of hair, if that makes sense, and just brush it out. And then I'm going to, after that, take the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen. Y'all, I wish I'd have known about this sooner. But honestly, you could really just use this, this pen. It imitates hairs like nobody's business. And I just, I, I just didn't know, but I'm so glad I have it now. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing here. I used the brown so that when I did the outline at the bottom, it doesn't look too harsh. But then that's kind of why I follow up with the NYX Lift and Snatch so that it can imitate some of the hairs within my eyebrow. Next, I'm using the NYX HD Photo, oh, excuse me. I'm using the NYX HD Studio Photo finish, okay, that's a lot of words. It's the HD Studio Concealer, and it's in the color CW08, and this is probably my favorite concealer. Now, I don't use foundation. Like, I, I just, I think it looks beautiful on other people. For some reason, Every time I wear it, it just feels like my skin is so congested. So I decided a long time ago that I was just going to use concealer and figure out how to work it, work with concealer. And honestly, 
I love the way just the concealer in certain areas of your face um, looks. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just, of course, covering up certain dark spots and listening to the rain outside because it sounds crazy. Then I actually take a lighter one that can't stop, won't stop. No reason behind it. It's just the one that I had, and that's in the color mahogany. And I actually use that as more of a highlight. I don't use highlight all over my face, just in certain areas. And there I'm just using it just in the inner corners of my eye. And then I finally remember, oh, you forgot your eyeliner. I use the Nika K or NK Makeup Microfine Art Liner. It's this really, really nice pen liner that makes it super easy to get like a really precise line. Although it does look like I'm kind of struggling, but I promise you it is so good. It stays put once you put it on there. Um, I absolutely love this liner and on top of that even though it stays put the really really good thing about it is that it's easy to wash off when it's time to wash it off so that's what I absolutely love about this one you don't have to get this one of course there's plenty of pin liners um, in the drugstore I found this in a hair supply store and absolutely loved it. So there's that one. I'm using the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush to completely blend out all of the areas where I put concealer. Um, this brush is everything. I know that there's tons of brushes out there, but this one is very, very dense and it really allows the product to stay put. As you can see here, I'm kind of showing that I use a tapping motion. I don't really use the circular blending motion. I tap it because I wanna make sure that the areas that I'm wanting to cover, that that concealer does not move at all. So I'm tapping it into my skin so that it will provide the coverage that I'm looking for it to provide, of course. So I'm going all over those areas, making sure to deposit the concealer where it needs to cover the areas but not necessarily doing any blending yet and of course if i see some areas that look like they need a little bit more coverage just go back in with that concealer let it sit for a little bit and keep going now i think for this area i decided that like it really needs coverage because that was more like a scar so i took that little painter brush i believe it's from eco tools and just did more precise tapping on those areas that I really, really wanna make sure um, have the coverage that they need. And then of course I was like, well, I mean, while I'm still holding it, let me just go ahead and cover some more areas. Going back in with that small tapered brush and just making sure that all of those areas are blended. Now the last place I do go is under my eyes because that is the area that I want the concealer to sit for the longest before I do the blending because that's the darkest area I think that's on my face and I really want to make sure uh, without sticking myself in the eye that I get that really really good. Not too bad huh? I'm gonna take the True Match N7 powder get that little triangly thingy that everyone loves, uh, pat it and then get the excess off and put it right underneath my eye. I get as close to my skin shade as possible and the color that I use is N7 Classic Tan. Um, it really does the job in keeping that under eye makeup on. I don't use this everywhere. I literally just use it under my eyes and right around my nose where I know that it could probably move. One of my favorite setting sprays is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist, y'all. It is $5 and it is amazing in keeping anything that you put on your face from moving, uh, at least in my experience. So I use that and fan it off a little bit so it can dry down. And then I actually take Makeup Revolution's Long Weekend Bronzer. It doesn't really deposit like a color or anything, but it does set everything that I just put on my face really, really nicely. So I took that e.l.f. Kabuki brush 
tap any excess off and literally just put it all over to set everything. As you can see, it's not adding any kind of color. It's just pretty much giving me an all over glow on top of everything else that I've added to create this glowy look. I'm gonna spray my face one more time with my e.l.f. spray and then on to the bronzing. So I use the NYX Wonder Stick in the color Deep and I learned to use like shorter lines. Don't ask me why, I just saw it somewhere and it looked way more natural. So that was the contour side and I flip it over to use the highlight side, still listening to that rain because it is coming down so hard. And I put that highlight right on top of the bronzer. Then I add a little to my nose and then the bridge and then just a little bit to highlight underneath the eyebrows. And then lastly, above my lip because I thought, okay, I've seen that somewhere. I'll take my small stipple brush from e.l.f. This one's a really, really good brush. And I hear the key is to brush upwards when you're blending out your contour. And that is just another method to lift your face. So that's what we're doing. And of course, I make sure to do it to both sides, still using that upward motion. I just use my finger to blend out the highlighter that was under my eyes. And then I go back in a little bit with that highlighter and put it right there in the, what do you call those things? The crack, crack of your eyeball, something like that. Just to give, you know, a little extra, bing, you know, just a little extra glow. Um, make you look, a, oh, that's what it does. It makes you look more awake. And then I go in with the Putty Blush. This is a really nice, creamy blush that doesn't look too overdone. It's not like a super drastic contrast to your skin. Um, I really, really like this blush. So I'm taking some just on my finger, swirling it around, and just applying it as high as I can uh, in my cheek area and then kind of running there across my face because I mean why not Just give the whole face a little bit more flush of color again it's just subtle enough to where you can see it but just not too much for my lips I'm taking the NYX butter gloss and the color is bit of honey and I'm actually combining that with the lip liner from Morphe and the name of this one is called Trendsetter. When I tell you this lip liner seems to work with every single lip gloss combination that I've used, it's so good and it's so easy to apply. I don't have to use much pressure at all. Blends really, really nicely. Then I grab the NYX Butter Gloss. Kind of blend that together. And try to zhuzh up my hair a little bit and this is the final look super simple very nice and glowy and no foundation crazy huh so that's the look let me know do you prefer like a glowy or a matte look make sure you're also subscribed for more videos and i will see you in the next one bye